Have you ever wanted to use your favorite mode while using the commode? Here's how to make that happen. It's with your toilet potty poo poo mouth humor. Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here with another Ham Shack chat. And this time I'll be introducing you to Team Viewer. Now this is a program that's a desktop sharing application and is available for Windows and Mac computers, as well as apps in the Android and iOS stores. It's also interoperable between all of them. This means, at least in my case, I can run any program. For example, WSJTX FT8 on my Windows 11 Shack computer, and then monitor and operate it remotely. Uh. Where's the remote? On the TeamViewer website, they show many different applications for this program, but I'm going to be focusing on using it with ham radio, and in this case, WSJTX FT8. It will also work on HRD and several other programs, and I'll describe the limitations a little bit later. Let's start by heading over to the TeamViewer website. This is the main TeamViewer.com website and brings you right here to our download for free. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click that and we'll come back and take a further look at this website, which by the way is linked down in the video description. This is also available on the app stores for Android and iOS and uh, probably Linux and a few other things as well. Uh, I'm gonna just assume that you know how to run setup exe to install software on your computer. Now let's go back to that original page. There's a lot of brag stuff they do on here, but it's kind of interesting to see where someone who's in a business might want to use it. You can see that they've got 2.5 billion downloads and their average uptime is just shy of 100%. Coming up, you can see uh, the Patronus racing, racing Team uses it other people who use it. It's even up there in space on the International Space Station. All of that is beyond the scope of this video. Obviously that's beyond your scope. So next I'll show you how to make the initial connections. I'm going to connect my PC desktop, which is here, with my tablet, which is a uh, iPad. I'm going to start by opening up Team Viewer on my tablet and on my desktop. Now you'll see that it's come up on this page and I'm going to put my partner ID, which is right here, up here. Now each time you cycle through this, you're going to get a different password. So if you try to use this and you don't have my password, uh, well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to store anything. It'll come up like this, but you'll have different numbers. So let me enter this. And I'm going to click on remote control here. Now it's connecting to my partner. And you'll see, please enter your partner's password, which is this right here. So I'm going to enter that. And click OK. You'll see that my desktop is up. Anything I do over here is reflected over there. And anything I do over here gets reflected over here. And I'm going to shrink this down. And it just has a tag. You can pop it back up if you want. Now, let's move on to a demonstration. Show me, show me. And on my tablet, I'm going to open up WSJTX. Now, if you need to, to get your fingers in there, you can do the tablet thing so you can actually see it. But we'll go ahead and open up WSJTX. And I'm going to shrink it back down. And you can see I have a few folks out there. A few minutes later, shot. Okay, I've been up and running on uh, WSJTX uh, FT8 for a little bit. I'm going to attempt to work this French station. 
And uh, I'm giving him a CQ right now. And normally at this time I would have fast forwarded, but I'm going to let you watch the whole thing so you can see that all the way through it's working. I've got no wires connected to my tablet. Okay, he's coming back to me. I got a minus six, sending him a plus one. And now we'll pass our 73s next and log the contact, and that'll complete the demo. Uh, the main purpose of the demo was just to show you that you could actually work off your tablet from a remote location. As long as you've got an internet connection on either end, uh, it will work. So we got our 73s, and I'm going to log this. And I'm sending him my 73 and that completes the demo. In addition to the FT8 that I just demoed for you, I've already tested this with Ham Radio Deluxe and PSK on uh, DM780 and it worked well. I believe that it worked well with any of the DM780 modes, including CW. Where it wouldn't work well is where you might have to use your keyboard. For example, I use write log for contesting, where all of my exchanges are stored in macros that are attached to the function keys. In short, if you can do it with a mouse click on your desktop, you can do it with a finger tap on your tablet. However, being able to remote your screen and control your computer remotely without a huge latency from any internet connected device anywhere certainly adds value. I hope you've enjoyed this enough to give me a like. Please like me. Please. And please share. Sharing is fun. This with your fellow hams that might find it useful. Feel free to add a comment. Yes, you. Questions, comments. Or ask a question down below. And finally, please consider subscribing. I subscribe to that. 73 until the next Hey Y'all. Always at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.